Yo, what's good guys? How are we all doing? Are you doing very well? Are you had a good weekend? Are your chance went well? I hope you're part of the team of the year. We didn't get one, but it is what it is. We move on. You know, it's one of them things. Never mind. We carry on. But yeah, I hope you did well in weekend and I hope you got team of the year and enjoyed the promo that you just put out. Before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. On the last video, we just did the the tactic video for the 4312 was one of the most watched videos we've done in the first few days. One of the most viewed tactic videos for that tactic on YouTube. But we're looking at 90% of you are not subscribed, but you're watching the content and enjoying it. So guys, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, show support. Let's get this channel to a thousand subs and start growing and you know getting the viewership that, that, that we need to keep progressing. Also, I'm streaming four days a week on Twitch TV, CR16. Come and head over there, get involved. I'll put a link down below as well for that. Today, we are going to be returning to my most watched video of last year. It's on over 10,000 views now. You absolutely loved it. People are still watching it now, even though FIFA 20 is not even out. Well, not even out. I do, what I mean is FIFA 20 is dead. It's over. Good piece. Gone. Um, we're going to return to it. I'm going to do my FIFA 21 Leicester dribbling video. It's going to be in two parts. We're going to have part one and part two. There's two reasons for that. We have two versions of dribbling this year, in my opinion. We have one where contextile agile dribbling assistance is turned off and one style where contextile agile dribbling is turned on. I'm going to show you the similar way to dribbling if you're 20. If you're a Leicester dribbler, you like full control. You like to really have control over the mobility, close control, baiting your opponents and sharp turns. And, you know, it is about total control of us said this is going to be the video for you part two is going to be where you want a bit of assistance you want the anders style dribbling um but we'll touch that in, in the next video so let's get into it the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to customization onto settings customize controls go down to where is it context style agile dribbling and turn it off okay turn it off come out and that's it you're done so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to jump into the arena. We're going to show you where you want to go to get used to it, get a bit of practicing and get, you know, used to the way that left it dribbling works. You just go over to play, to skill games, go over to practice arena. Before you do though, make sure you go and select a player, select someone like Neymar or Mbappe, you know, people that you know have got good dribbling, Messi, you know, them kinds of players, the ones that have got Really good agility, really good ball control and dribbling. You can see it on the right hand side as well. It just shows you. So you can set to play with 90 plus in these attributes. It will help you when practicing it. And also make sure you've got these kind of players in your ultimate team to get the most out of it. Jump into the practice arena. Here we go. And we're here with Neymar now. Let's get into it. Right, once you're into the arena, you can see my controller over here. You can watch what I'm doing. I'm going to show you the very basics and we'll work our way through the different types of dribbling and how I use it in game. And then once we've done it, we will jump into some footage and I'll show you how this all comes together and how you can use it in all areas of pitch from defending, midfield and attacking and utilize it in your game when you go into ultimate team. So first I'm going to show you left stick dribbling. It is exactly what it said on the tin, just using your left stick, moving it left and right. What you, what you want to do is get used to the different kind of ha variations and how far you can push the left stick to get different types of reactions from your player. So if you just literally push your left stick as far as it'll go, you get a slightly looser, you know, you see him moving slightly loosely, but then if you just caress it, you just do it slowly, the ball stays closer, you can see. So there is there is in the differences between how much you pressure you put on your left stick to keeping it close and, and, and going slightly faster. So it's something you want to get used to doing. So if you're just turning with the left stick fully pressed, it's slightly loose, you know, it's still really effective, but if you can really slow it down, get used to it, you can really keep the ball close to you and start to bait your opponent, trick them. One one good thing out to do is come away from the opponent and quickly turn back. So you come away and, and, and you can just literally shout the turn, in and out, duck and weave. It is, it's, it's very much a, a feel you've got to get a feel for it and what works what doesn't you know it, it, for sharp turns it's fantastic you know you can and, and keeping it close if you if you keep turning and your opponents will tell you just turn away and then just sharp turn back again i can guarantee you a lot of players especially like silver and gold level will really struggle to get the ball off you but again it is you really got to take the time to get used to how delicate it is and how how to sharply move it left and right and really get used to how it works you know it is it is a skill, but if you take the time, you will get used to it. The next one is LB dribbling, which is strafe dribbling from last year. It's back again. And um, you can use LB and R1 to do the ball rolls when you've still got LB 
press, but this year it is just LB for straight dribbling, stand up dribbling. And when you hit press LB, which you can see on the controller, it keeps your face up. So it'll keep you facing forward, you can go left and right really fast, or you can come back with it as well and just ball roll it backwards and just keep the ball and keep kind of moving left and right of it. What this is really good for, really effective for, is in the middle of the part, if, you, if you've got, got a pass on and you're trying to create them passing angles, you can just move left and right and create that passing angle, then play the ball to create the space. Another good thing is combining it with elastic dribbling. So, you know, you, you've got a player on you, you're coming out, you're coming out, and you want to just step up and turn faster like that as well. You know, start to combine once you get used to your left it, throwing in left button now and then just to really get an extra edge on your opponent at an extra angle. You can see straight away, we go straight into the LB dribbling. Very, very effective. Take your time, play with these in the arena, and then go into rivals, go into friendlies. Just take your time to get used to it. And, and, and trust me, once you see the gameplay footage, you will see how effective these tools really are in game. The last one I'm going to show you is L2 and R2, or left trigger and right trigger on the Xbox, is a close control dribbling. So you move a lot slower, but the ball stays really close to you. As you can see, you know, you can see it's really, really close, really slow. And great if you want to do, you know, some some quick maneuvers and then into close control. Personally, I don't really use it, but it is there. It's something you can use, you know, something that you can throw in there if you do want to. But again, as I said, I don't really use it. I use Lester Dribbling and LB Dribbling are my go-to tools. Just a couple of quick moves for you to throw in there just to really help you is make sure you learn the ball roll, which is left or right on the thumbstick. This is something that when you're doing left dribbling, you can throw it in there and then turn, you know, like, like that. Left, ball roll turning, or you can, you know, combine it. It's really, really good. And the step over as well is really, really good. There's lots of different things you can do. Let's throw in, see, step over. Has been nerfed, has been nerfed, but these are the skill moves you can learn. I'm not gonna go into detail now to do them properly, you know, if you just drop a search on YouTube and you'll find dedicated tutorials, something they may do in the future, but for the time being, I just wanted to mention the, the, the kind of moves you're gonna see in game combined with the left stick dribbling. So that's everything there. Go into the arena, get someone like Neymar or the players you've got like Robin, you'll see in the, in, the, in the video, Robin's really good at it as well. Get used to it, take your time. It won't come instantly. It will take time. It is a, it is, it's one of the biggest skills in the game. You know, the removing all the tricks, they've nursed five star skills, the nerf step overs, bridges getting nerfed, all these things getting nerfed. So you've got to really hone the things that you've still got at your disposal. And this is one of them things. We'll jump into the footage and I will go over how it works in game. Right, here we go into the gameplay. Straight away, you can see the control at the bottom, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to show you in game clips of me using elastic dribbling. Here you can see, again, turning away from the player there, getting the ball, twisting and turning, and keeping it, and playing out of defense. Again, there with Young. That was just elastic dribbling. As I said to you, it's very important that you turn away from the player and then shout the turn back again to bait him. As you can see, look, he runs straight past him there, and we create the player there to go forward to, to Felix. Again, here, combining the ball rolls, elastic dribbling, and twisting and turning causing chaos this is individual rivals as well it's not you know it's not champs we're playing high level players here and you can see it's very effective we're starting with defensive type maneuvers to help you you know build up the play from defensive midfield you can see into attacking areas here we're well, elastic dribbling here with Suarez twisting and turning again it comes towards us we turn away shout the turn left and right as you can see with the stick again just get used to it take your time and the key thing, as I said, is turning away, then quickly sharply turning left and right to bait your opponent. And then when you see what your opponent does, you can then make the move and decide which way you want to go based on your opponent's reactions. It's all situational. One thing that's really important when using elastic dribbling, as you can see, is the positional awareness of your opponents. Look at the players you position, you, you, your opponent's controlling and then move based on that and the awareness of the space around you and what areas you've got to run into. It's very, very key. It's... Obviously, the first skill is getting used to the left stick, combining it with obviously left button dribbling into the run with a, you know, a ball roll here and there. The second stage is your awareness on the football pitch, looking at what your opponent's doing and then twisting and turning based on what your opponent's doing, reacting to him into the space and moving away, as you can see. It's so, so effective. Yeah, you can see multiple, multiple examples of me using it within the games all over the pitch. Again, a Dharma area. Unbelievable turn in pace, turn of pace. Again, twist and turn twice in a row. Pass to Renato Sanchez. You know, it, Renato Sanchez is one of the best CDMs in the game. We've just left him there, sent him to Tesco. We've just left it dribbling. You know, these are the things that you're going to have to take the time to get used to now. As I said, 
step overs are going, the bridge is getting nerfed in the next few days. This is something that you'll always have at your disposal. And if you get used to it, it's so, so effective. Here again, in defensive, you know, set up composure, taking her time, turning away and then turning back into the space, creating, you know, the opportunity to pass it, a goal opportunity or to play it out from defense. It's so, so good. Here with Robin, as I said, Robin's fantastic at it. One of the best players at doing it. And even Adama as well, really good at it. Into Robin again. There we go. Again, Adama, and example of Adama, just turning, looking at the space. Very, very, it looks really simple when you see it, but it's not. It's something that takes skill and composure and time to get used to. But once you get used to it, it's so effective. Look, two, three players there. That's Tavernier. Headlines Tavernier, that, that you can't get the ball off him just because we're using left stick, being patient, watching what he's doing and using that awareness of the pitch and hit the players controlling to move away from it and into the space. So, so powerful. Take the time to get used to it, guys. Practice it. Go in the arena, hone it, come into the game and don't worry about winning. Just take the time to get used to it, hone it and get good at it. And then as you become second nature with it, it'll be so, so effective as you can see here. You know, I'm, I use it all the time, every match I use. Take your finger off that run button. Don't use run button, just use left stick. You don't need the run button. You only need the run button when you're running into space and you'll get away from someone. Otherwise, you should not be using it. Use left stick dribbling the whole time to move around and effectively maneuver around your opponent, bait him and create the space. And you're gonna, you're just gonna be somewhere much more effective in your games. You'll win more games. You know, it, it sets your shots up, as you can see here defensively a bit of composure a little bit lucky there on that occasion but again you know we went into in between two defenders turned in turned back away shot the turn left and right and into the space again you'll see it's a repeating pattern there is a pattern to it but if you can get used to that pattern you will find it a fantastic tool to add to your arsenal of um, abilities on this game there we go that is the left stick dribbling tutorial complete part one so i'm just going to recap everything that we've done Firstly, go into the game settings, turn off contextual agile dribbling for this type of dribbling, which is my favorite, which is where you have total control over what you're doing and how to maneuver and, and making sure that you, you are controlling everything that's going on in game. I didn't touch on RB dribbling, contextual dribbling on this video for a reason, because we're going to cover that in the next video. I didn't want to bring this into this video because it's not something that I use in game with this style of dribbling. Secondly, go into the arena, make sure you select a player that's good at dribbling, like Neymar, Mbappe, you know, Robin, Dembele, for example, those types of players, as you saw in the game footage as well. Get used to using the left stick, you know, make sure you become second nature with the slow maneuvers and using a lot of pressure. So going between a lot of pressure on the left stick to a little bit of pressure and how the varying amounts of pressure affect how the ball moves and how close it is to your player on the ball. Then again, make sure you're Practicing, it's imita imita imitating, imitating, that's the one. Moving away from defenders and then quickly sharply turn into the opposite direction into the space on the pitch. Get used to that. Also use LB dribbling, combine them and throw in the odd, the odd ball roll here and there because that is, will help you be effective. Hold it in the arena, become second nature with it, make sure you're confident. Then go into the game, go into rivals when you've got no points to play for, go into objectives and friendly modes, get used to it, practice it. Just don't worry about the result, just practice getting used to being second nature, how it works, what's effective, what isn't, how you need to ease the space on the pitch, be aware of your opponent who they're controlling, and you know, it, it's a skill. You will get it, it will take time, but it will come. And obviously with them nerfing everything at the moment, you've got obviously the ball roll being nerfed, the step over being nerfed, you've got bridge being nerfed. It's something that you really want to make sure that you, you put into your arsenal and get used to. It's really effective, guys, really, really good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget if you did, did like it, comment, like, and subscribe. We need to hit that thousand sub mark. We're so, so close. Without your guys' support, we won't get there. We need you to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button, so you know when my videos go live. Um, and as I said, comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Did it help you? What do you want to see next? And I will see you in the next video, which will be part two, which will be contextile dribbling. And I'll tell you everything about contextile dribbling and why that is also a viable method and very OP as well. Take care, everyone. Have a great week, and I'll see you all in the next video.